Keith and Heather invited us to join them on the Three Sisters Backcountry Hut to Hut Traverse. Silka and I drove up the day before and spent the night at the Three Creeks Trailhead, which is where the trip ends three days later. Hello. Are you making our uh, lunch? Yeah. Should I get a pot of water going for coffee? Oh, yeah, we should. Three Sisters Backcountry picked us up there and shuttled us to the Dutchman Flat Trailhead. <laughs> All right, we're at the trailhead. We just got dropped off. So we are on our own, officially, seven miles to the first hut. And the, <laughs> right, yeah, there's room where there's a hot tub. What do you think? We have to build it first. Here we are, heading toward the first hut. The snow is coming down lightly. It's pretty cold. It's like, what, 20, low 20s, I think. Uh, and the snow is awesome. It's uh, very light and fluffy. Uh, and there's this trail that's already cut for us. Uh, that might not be true the whole trip, but it is right now, and it's nice. How's it going? Good. It's beautiful snow. I know, isn't it? Yeah. Hello. Now I just wanted to see how the snow is accumulating on you. <laughs> it's turning you into an Arctic fox. <laughs> Getting into some steeper stuff here. Oh, where's that? Is there there? I think it's right around the corner. Oh, awesome. Woohoo! Almost three miles in, looking strong. to go. Huh, well there's the beds to sit on too. Uh, 
Way to come into a palace. <laughs> <laughs> Good. Oh yeah, we're about to get toasty. Was that it? He did a good job. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. No, 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 no. Plus we could, we could just bust it out at any time. Oh, I see. But it's already packed up. If we don't, and if we don't, we're burning it. An apogee in the morning. All the other grandchildren, she, she, she trusts. So that's from egg crystals. It's just dehydrated eggs that are rehydrated and they just are eggs. <laughs> and then the potatoes. They're from really liquidy chickens. They're liquidy chickens. Oh children, and then like the potatoes, <laughs> it says to drain, drain, but there's there's nothing to drain. So it comes in this carton here, and you just fill it with hot water, let it sit for 12 minutes, and then fry it. Or you could drink it out of the carton. <laughs> Which is what I was about to do. <laughs> Look at that. Wow, that is a lot of food. I think it's good. What do you guys think of this bluebird day? Woo Look at this. Good luck. Yeah. So we just left our first night cabin. We're going to be on this uh, snowmobile road for two miles before we head off into uh, a trail again. So for navigating, they've recommended a route from the start point to the first night's hut to the second night's hut to the end point. And they gave us that map that's on Heath's back. They also have a, an Avenza map that you download onto your phone. And uh, you can see exactly where you are, sort of like Google Maps. You can see your location and, against the map and it's a topo map. But then they also have marked their route with these flags. See that flag up there in the tree? So this is the point where we leave the snowmobile road and go off onto a trail again. Do you see the mile marker? Yeah, it's right here. Five more miles. Oh, they're breaking trail. Look at that. Nice. I call this one cloud, blue sky, and snow. Thank you very much. Good work. The first two miles only took an hour. <laughs> <laughs> We've definitely slowed down now. <laughs> exactly. He'll, the masseuse will show up tonight, don't worry. Okay. So 
here we have a peephole. It was not. <laughs> Day two in the books. You look marvelous. There it is. Wow. Love the double flag. Well, there's the deck. <laughs> kind of a steampunk entryway. So we got Ryder here and Cash. And my question for you is, would, what would you say to someone who had never been on cross country skis and they were about to do a 20 mile back country trip carrying, do carrying a backpack? <laughs> so, don't do it. <laughs> it's like, your water can't freeze. If your water freezes, that's not good. My water froze today. Oh, really? And it was like 10 extra pounds. It's still filled up. Like I drank like two sips of it because it just won't come out. Uh-huh. So just don't let your water freeze. Don't let your water freeze. Okay, that, that's good advice. So. I would say bring a blow up pillow. Blow up oh, pillow. That's a good one. Yeah, yeah. These cabins are pretty well equipped, but they don't have pillows. Yeah, they well, That's not. true. Okay, so you guys are those people, right? You had never been on cross-country skis. I mean, you've, you've done a lot of skiing, you've done a lot of snow sports, so it, you seemed to pick it up pretty quick. Um, and then, you know, fast forward, you know, a little bit and you're breaking trail. <laughs> All right, anything else? How do you motivate yourself when you're like, I hate this, if this is the worst thing ever? I just want to be at the hut. How do you dig deep? I you have a breakdown. I've had a breakdown hard. Really um, every really hill, just straight down. I, <laughs> skis hit my head multiple times. I really do. I saw one of your last face plants. Man, you went down with a thud. <laughs> no, that was the ski banging in my head. Oh. oh. <laughs> it went because I went like this and I flew forward and the skis like went behind me and hit me in the head. Oh, man. But it didn't, it didn't hurt. Or my face hurt from the snow. Yeah. Like, but it's just like the snow kind of wakes you up a little bit and you're like, well, you can't like get done without anything unless yeah. you get to the cabin. So like, you kind of got to go. <laughs> yeah. What was your worst wipeout? Uh, I don't remember my wipeout, but to keep it, me it going. It was probably that jump. And to the keep first day when he tried to jump. And oh, he, yeah, yeah, yeah. He tried to I remember that. Air, and then he just like, <laughs> face just, like <laughs> big air with a backpack. Yeah. I don't know. It's just. <laughs> <laughs> To keep me motivated, I would say I try to think about if I couldn't feel things in my body. Mm. So if I couldn't feel that I was sore, uh -huh. then the next three miles would be easy, right? Uh -huh. That's what nice. I try to do. Yeah. Nice. It's so hot in here. It is hot. It's great. Right? <laughs> oh, we have new additions to Costume Night. Hello. Wag your uh, tail for us, will you? Excuse me. <laughs> That's really cool. Our chef tonight is Heath. It's Mexican night. Yeah, we got some really spicy rice, some beans, and a bunch of cooked down Chinese peppers. Okay, so I think this is a first for me. These guys just served up a dish of ice cream for us. And we're like, what? No, it can't be. It's So it's snow. Those are chocolate chunks. And there's some sprinkles. Sprinkles of something. And then is it like sweetened? It's sweetened with something too. That is amazing. Sugar and sweetened milk. Oh, Wow. Thanks, guys. And vanilla, a little bit of vanilla. Wow. Slower on the release of the fingers on the bottom. Oh, okay. Do that really slow. Because then what, what I think I usually do, as I'm letting my fingers go, I'm pushing them in tighter sometimes. Oh, okay. On the bottom, while keeping that thumb. Yeah, I'm going to have Yeah, see, on the corner. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That doesn't work so good. Okay, it can. I ain't got The first part I feel like I'm doing good with. My 
hands are so good. Oh my gosh. Now see they bunch up. Yeah, because yeah. you, you had the corner. It was corner. Oh, it's corner. Get it so more, straight more straight on. Get it straight on. Yeah. Okay, more straight on. Okay. And? Ooh, that looks, that's looking better. Yeah, that's it's looking, looking better. Oh, it it's felt just better. Like the sound. Yeah. Real yeah, too, too slow. Too late, too slow. Yeah. <clears throat> This is not good. Oh, 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 this oh, 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 These guys have a tradition. First thing in the morning, they each get a hot washcloth to wipe their face. This might be the, my favorite part of this trip. At the hut, we basically have to constantly be melting snow to create water. The gray water system is just a big five gallon bucket underneath the sink that has to get emptied out into a pipe right next to the outhouse. So somehow my foot came out of my binding, or so I thought. Hi, Dave. Hello. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> Zip ties to the rescue. Luckily, the repair job worked and got me back to the car. It looks like Dave's got to leave. He's Woo! pulled through. He wins. He wins. That is Dave with the win. Oh, who do we got? Who do we got? Gosh, is coming in second, looking pretty sly. And then bringing in the guitar. Here comes Ryder with the finish. Woo! 